there's no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he eyes very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure right. where most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, yeah. and that's not always the case. He believes that he... Ready. Ready fight. Well, the tension is palpable as this fight gets underway, and it's gonna be interesting to see how this matchup plays out. Definite striker on one side against another guy who can really do it all. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Roundhouse kick, and it lands. It lands, and even if you think you're blocking it, it really is still having an effect on your opponent. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. And he landed the right hand there. Nice. Back and forth we go. Head kick landed, he's hurt. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. And they separate. Look at him drive his shin into the opponent's body with that body kick. Trying to establish that jab once again. Nicely done as he gets the double leg takedown. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's gonna start looking to land big shots from the top. All right, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to hold him. him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Big kick. Throws the right hand there. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Nice punch, man. Big leg kick lands. And both guys really throwing with authority. Nice head kick. Pretty good right hand. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, you can't stop. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming, or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, 
I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Dig and kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Right, he engages in the single collar tie. Left hand punches the punch. Oh man, good stick to the body. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Three minutes to go in round two. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Can't take many of those, you better check. Great timing on that boot to take down. All right, full guard now, DC. And for the guy on top, he needs to build posture or just go to the next position, start shoving that knee through, trying to get the half guard, which in turn will lead to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you need to be anticipating, you need to be framing, you need to be moving, looking for opportunities to either reverse the position or get back to your feet. Just missed with the left there. really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Unable to connect there. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Oh, high amplitude head kick! I don't know if you know jiu-jitsu much, you miss a lot of your classes. If I'm gonna do this to anybody, it's Andy. All right, well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Now maybe trying to get to a choke position here, DC. Ten minutes in the books. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. Next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous frame. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times where they came together and you saw the skill levels of these two fighters. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Try to establish that jab. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Nice. Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Oh, huge head kick. Big shots. Oh! Oh, 
nice right hand. Three minutes remain in the round. Just misses with the right. Well, you've got to admire the beautiful takedown attempt made. Single leg takedown attempt here, and did that get you out of your seat? Beautifully done by him there. Oh, man, I jump up and down. Am I watching the Olympics or a big <laughs> martial arts fight? You don't see single legs this good unless you're watching a real high-level wrestler. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Close guard here. He's very comfortable here working off his back, DC. His opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Close guard. Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Outstanding placement as he lands the knee to the body. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, straight right. So far. Right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. Good corner is able to relay that message to their fighter better in between rounds. What a body kick. Punch over the top. Lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Nice one-two there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, wow! Head kick! Oh, straight right! He got him. Oh, big elbow. Just over three minutes now to go. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. And really nice job to finish the takedown there. Well, you know I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in the gi at some point in his life in the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, that left hand is money tonight. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Still nice body kick lands. Oh, nice punch there by Choi. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Look at him chopping the wood. Chopping the wood with those legs. Oh, nice. 
Jones. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Close guard. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, side control now. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding. And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. Striking is unbelievable. You're mixing it up perfectly. I love what you're doing with the kicks. Keep those going. He's slowing down. Ready to fight. Ready. Fifth and final round. Good stick. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those tracks. Good punch land. Back and forth we go. Unable to connect with the right. Overhand right. Swing and a miss. Right on the elbow. By the deep lane. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Straight right hand, no good. Ooh, what a punch. All right, getting late in the fight right now, DC. Dream fight for the fans, maybe not so much for the judges. It's been back. Oh, that was a big takedown. It's just the one that's going to break it. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Close guard. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on it. Over and over. These guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. All right, half guard for him here, and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has submission options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his grounded pound. Build a base, posture up, throw big strikes, get back to position, build posture again, throw big strikes, and just really wear him down with a really secure position in half guard. Back to the feet now. Under one minute remains in round five. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Ooh. Oh! Twenty seconds now remain in the round. The right hand just misses. Big kick lands. What a fight! decision is in it resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. 
The judges score the contest. 48-47, 49-46, and 48-47. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Easton! All right, so there he is, the celebration is on. He tried to leave the judges out of it tonight, was unable to do that, but pretty dominant effort nonetheless. He's your winner by unanimous decision.